Indeed Brewing Company is making room inside its Northeast Brewery and Tap Room. They have really spread out to new corners of the awesome Solar Arts Building in Northeast Minneapolis to keep guests socially distanced while still enjoying their terrific beer. Tom Wisenen from Indeed Brewing joins us live this morning. Hey, Tom. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Beerland, tell us about it. Well, it's just pretty exciting to be able to say welcome to Beerland. Uh, you know, I guess that was kind of <laughs> there, but we've officially called it that now, and it's um, it's about as close as you're going to get to a beer theme park experience, uh, both in the wintertime in Minnesota and uh, in the world of uh, COVID-19. So, mm -hmm. tell us about it. I mean, you have seven separate seven separate spaces for the winter time here. What would people experience if they're going to stop by? Indeed. Yeah, well, you know, our staff, uh, we're always, you know, working to be pretty creative and uh, with the challenges that we've been facing, uh, we looked around the building and said, gosh, we can turn a lot of these spaces into to cool places for people to sit. So uh, we've got everything from uh, an outdoor space in the parking lot with fire pits when the, the weather is suitable. Uh, we have the original tap room with, uh, you know, spaced out tables, uh, limited capacity. Uh, we have the loading dock where during the day we're bringing pallets of, uh, of materials in and sending, uh, you know, truckloads of beer out. And in the evening, it turns into a nice, heated, cozy space with some kind of loungy areas. And then we also have up top, which is uh, kind of the coolest addition, which is the space that's normally occupied by Chow Girls Catering, uh, and they do events up there, but we've taken it over temporarily. And we have uh, numerous kind of little loungy setups up there, uh, funky art made by one of our former employees, Ben, Ar uh, ben Herring. And uh, it's a little different. It's not kind of the wood that people know from Indeed. It's like sort of plush furniture and fun, but also very spaced out and uh, comfortable for those who are you know, trying to find somewhere to go. Tom, I was over there uh, outside last weekend, and I have to say, I was surprised at how many people, even into the night as it got cold, how mm -hmm. many people have been kind of huddled around those fire pits. Have you been surprised at the appetite and desire for Minnesotans to drink beer outside? I have been, you know, to be honest, uh, before winter came, I was not very uh, optimistic about people sitting outside. I thought, you know, if that's all we can do, it's not going to go over very well. And certainly it limits capacity, but yeah, the Minnesotans have, have found ways to, you know, I think they're putting their long johns on and, and their, their best parkas. And, and last night I was there and the, the temperature was dropping last night. If you were outside, I think it got down to about 10 degrees and yeah. people were out there having a great time. And it's just, <laughs> you know, and that's great. Whatever, you know, I think we have enough experiences at Indeed right now where whatever your comfort level is, you can find something. Um, and if, if you need to be right. outside, just bundle up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm very partial to the pistachio cream ale at Indeed, but I'm wondering what other special things do you have on tap for this winter? Yeah, well, we just released a pretty fun beer uh, just recently called, uh, it's a, it's a um, coconut macaroon cream ale. Uh, so it's kind of following the same vein as the pistachio cream ale, and that's been a hit so far. Uh, soon we're releasing something kind of exciting that's actually a non-beer item. We're releasing a hard kombucha, and mm. it's called Boone. And it's about a, been about a year and a half in the making, and the, the first flavor that we've created is um, a blueberry basil. And... Uh, I've drank kombucha a little bit, but I was a little skeptical as well. Maybe I'm just the skeptical guy at the brewery, but I was blown away at how good this stuff is. So, uh, and there's always other beers available as well, you know, in Flavor Wave and Day Tripper. So, right. The classics are still around. Good stuff. Yes. Yeah. We good. also, one of the things we're doing is we're doing hot poker beers on the weekends. So, you can, uh, it's called uh, Beer Brulee. And we heat up a, a, a poker and a red hot poker, and it goes in your beer and it sizzles and it makes it almost like a frappuccino type thing. It's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. You can check it out on my Instagram. I have a video of that with the chai oh. beer, so it's really good. 